Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another concoction video. My mother has requested a specific meatloaf that she dreamed up in her head, and that is what I'm going to make her. I wanted to make her a big one, like a big cake pan full, because I cut it and freeze it, but she wants stuffing in it, and I don't really have a lot of stuffing, so it's going to probably be smaller than I wanted, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. I have about two pounds of beef there, I'm guessing. I don't know. And uh, to that, she wants cooked stuffing. She didn't want me to put the crumbs in dry, although I'm sure you could, but she wants it cooked and very moist, so I added a little bit extra water. She wants onion and ketchup, salt and pepper, and one or two eggs. And that's it. So let's just get started. I'm going to cut the onion. I moved the meat out of this for now just so I can mix the other stuff. I don't know if I'll go ahead and do the whole onion. She does like onion, but let's just see. I'll put one egg to start. She likes big pieces of onion because when it cooks, she still likes to have an onion. And you can chop as much as you want, or you don't have to even put onion. You can put anything you want. I'm going to add some salt and pepper to this. My mother's a salt freak, so I can never have too much salt. And I'm going to add some of the ketchup to this also. You can always put Worcestershire sauce, or however that's pronounced. I really like that, but this is what she wanted. She gave me instructions. Now I'm going to just, you know, break some of this up a little bit. And I'm going to add about half of this stuffing and see how we're doing. Well, actually, I'm going to just add all the stuffing because I know I'm using all of it. And if I need more ground beef than what I have, I've got that too. I happen to use chicken stuffing because that's what I had on hand. My mother is not big on seasonings, just like I'm not. Especially when it comes to meat. We like to taste the meat. And there's enough seasonings in that stuffing. Gee, I'm almost thinking that I don't really want to add much more ground beef. This will probably be good. See, I would have liked the, the stuffing in, you know, dry in there. I think we're going to be done. Well, I bagged the rest of that ground beef. I'm going to throw this little bit in here. And I do want to add a little bit more ketchup. And she puts ketchup when she eats it, too. I think I would have liked it better if I didn't make that stuffing as wet as I did. She has nice chunks of onions in there. I think she's going to like this. I have this very old pan that I've always known my entire life. And let's just put that in there. And I think that will fit good. I know that was one and a half cups of dry stuffing. So if you're following along, <laughs> and probably, I don't know, a pound and a half of ground beef. Okay, this is going in the oven at 350, and I'm going to leave it in there for an hour. This is what we have after an hour at 350. It um, probably could have cooked a little less because it's not very thick, but... I think it looks pretty good. It is piping hot right now, so I can't cut any. But um, I guess I'll let it cool, and I'm going to cut a piece, and we'll look at the inside. I am going to consider this a somewhat of a success. <laughs> I'm trying to cut some pieces, and it wants to fall apart a little bit. But it's, you know, it's nicely cooked, and it seems to be very juicy. And, you know, I, I think the texture is good. 
My mother's the one that's going to have to decide because it's her that I made it for. But, you know, I do have just this small pan. The next time I am going to definitely add the uh, stuffing dry. I want to see how that's going to come out. You know, it is firm. It's still warm. I really need to just let it cool some more. But I think it looks good. Anyway, very easy to make meatloafs. And I like to just experiment. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.